Would you ride in this elevator? I'm so scared. <laughs> We're in Mostar. In, in Bosnia and Herzegovina. We're really excited to be here. If you watched my last video, I like rambled on about how excited I am to be in the Balkans and to be in Bosnia specifically. We're gonna go check out Old Town, go to the infamous bridge, try and find some local cheap food to eat. Can you see this sign? It's like reading glasses in a book. The currency here is the convertible mark, abbreviated as VAM, BAM. And its exchange rate is about 1.8 BAM to $1. So to make it easy, kind of just divide by two. Now we're getting lunch and it looks really good. I put our order in mixed meat platter with a bunch of sauces, some traditional bread, and grilled veggies. This. I wonder if this is stuffed like the one in... Um, with cheese or cream? Yeah. Oh, well, it kind of looks like it. Chicken. Yeah, it does look like it. This might be stuffed. These are the like, sausages. Then it comes with peppers, tomatoes, two types of cheese, bread, and Ivar, that red pepper and eggplant spread. All right, we're gonna see how far we can get on this platter, and we'll show you the aftermath. I'm having so much fun. It was really, really good. Really simple, too. Like, I don't think we're gonna get the meat sweats after this yeah, one. Yeah, I don't feel like I hate myself. Yeah. Even eating at a restaurant that was, like, full of tourists on the most touristy street here in Mostar, that whole meal was 18 bombs, so about $10. I think we got a jumper. How much money did you contribute? It feels so surreal to me to be like standing on this bridge because for the entire like two years that I planned on coming and traveling full time across Eastern Europe, I fantasize about coming to Mostar, coming on the bridge. And to actually be here right now is like <laughs> so cool. River is now brown, got very dark. Yeah, it was like a clear turquoisey blue earlier. Yeah. Look at this. We're young German travelers. They offered to take our picture and the rest was history. <laughs> They're Bosnian and their parents emigrated during the war in the early mid 90s. They seemed very excited that we were excited about coming here. <laughs> They gave us tips on where to go and what to see and how the politics works here. And I'm not even gonna try to explain it to you guys because it's really confusing. I just need to watch like 12 more videos to even get somewhat of an understanding. What are your first impressions of Mostar? I really like it. The old town, I feel like we've walked all of it and we did that pretty quickly. The food was amazing at the first spot we went to. It's absolutely beautiful. I had a feeling I would love it and I do. It's, yeah, one, it's really affordable and I really, really admire the, like the old Ottoman architecture, the mosques with the minarets towering kind of behind everything you see. There's churches. There's the city surrounded by beautiful mountains, the river flowing through it. It's just very picturesque. Mm -hmm. The city gives me the same kind of vibe as Vilnius, where you can just walk without a plan and just find so many cool little unique things, unique buildings. You can still see that a lot of the buildings are damaged from the war. Make a friend.
We just got back from the grocery store. To preface this, we're here for eight nights. So we got bananas, chocolate bar, spices, sriracha, two two liter bottles of beer, four bottles of water, a kilo of pasta, tomato sauce, popcorn, peanut butter, cream, we think, lemon, cream cheese, butter, bread, block of Parmesan, garlic, 10 eggs, thing of milk, five pack of instant noodles, soda, two bags of chips, four onions. It was like 85 Bosnian convertible marks. Did we show you guys the view from our Airbnb? Might have at night. I can't remember. Thanks for watching guys. Stay tuned for more amazing Bosnia content. See you next time. We're gonna do so much stuff. Oh, <laughs>